Yo guys, in this video, I'm going to be upgrading my ASUS TUF FX504 laptop. I'm going to be putting in an SSD. I'm going to be cloning an old drive onto this SSD and also upgrading to 16 gigs of RAM minus 8. I'm putting another SODIMM slot in. And so this is a quick tutorial on how to do that. And so without further ado, let's get started. So here I have my ASUS TUF FX504 and I'm going to be upgrading the RAM right here. Let me turn that around. You can see it. It's DDR4 Rip Jaws. It's 2666. That's the speed and I'm going to be installing it. And also I have a Kingston 480GB SSD which I'm going to be cloning old drive like I said. So I'm going to be going through that process. So first things first to upgrade your laptop you are going to need some tools first these are some simple tools that i have and uh that is recommended because you don't want to damage your laptop in any way so first things first we're going to open it actually and we are going to turn it off and that's going to be step one then after it's turned off flip it around and i'm going to show you all the screw locations there's a couple or more than a couple. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's one in the middle. And it's a normal Phillips, so I'm just going to start taking these out one by one. I also forgot to mention there's going to be a tiny sticker if you're doing it for the first time over this screw and so if you remove it I think you are avoiding your warranty so just make note of that. Now all the screws are out, I'm pretty sure, yeah I think they are all out. And now you're going to need your pry tools so stuff like this is pry tools and this is a this is the part where you got to be sort of careful and you don't want to break the plastic tabs that are holding the plastic cover in place. So start from, I recommend start from one corner and work your way around until it just simply pops off. Here we have the internals. Look at all that. Look at those heat pipes. Goodness, look at the, all that copper. That is very nice. I just appreciate how a laptop is put together in such a small form factor and the performance that it has is rather impressive. Anyway, we're not here to admire it. We are here to upgrade it. And so right here is the RAM slot. Let me see if I can get a closer shot of that. So there is the SODOM slot right there located. This one is already put in and I have the other one right here. So I'm just gonna line up the, if I line up the pins, I should be able to put it down in, just like that, and it clicks in. There we go, upgraded the RAM, that was about the easiest part. Next we are going to clone the hard drive to the Kingston SSD, like I said before, and we have a nice cloner over there to do it, so I'm gonna pop this one out, the hard drive, and then I'm gonna start cloning it. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. After this, we will put the laptop back together and power it up to make sure that it works. Anyway, to the cloning process. And here we have the hard drive right here. So there is a couple screws holding it into place. Let me see if I can find them. Here's one. I need a bigger bit. Make sure you don't let the screws touch the motherboard because it could short out and we do not want that to happen. Also, make sure you don't touch the motherboard because if you have static, you could accidentally short the components and then it would stop working, which is not what you want. Here we go, I removed all the screws. Now if we can just, I think you just unslot it somehow. Okay, if you lift up a touch and just, there we go, and it pops right out. There it is, it's like a 500 gig 
2.5 inch hard drive and we're gonna clone it with the Kingston and so I'm gonna put it into the cloner right now and then we're gonna start cloning it. So I just ran into a bit of a problem apparently the cloner didn't want to do its job and clone and it didn't recognize either of the drives so the cool thing about it is you can directly plug it in to your laptop and so I had both of the drives showing up here and because it's not a boot drive I can simply just copy the files over so that's what I'm gonna do stupid cloner but I guess you work after all because now I can access both of the drives and copy the folders over so I'm gonna do that now it shouldn't take too long and so then after that we can put everything back in put the SSD right here back in and the RAM I checked it works it shows up and then we're gonna put the back panel on and hopefully everything works after that. I'm gonna start transferring the files over right now and I will check back in a little bit. So there we go, about two hours later, I had a lot of problems copying a bunch of the files over, but I finally managed to get it done. And now I have the Kingston SSD all ready to go and now I get to put it into the laptop. So I'm just gonna flip it upside down because the laptop is upside down and just simply slot it into the correct location, push down a little bit and then it just slides nicely into place, snug fit. Now I'm going to put the screws in either side so it doesn't come out or vibrate or anything like that. You always wanna fasten your drives down to make sure that they're in 100%. And there we go, I just installed the SSD right here and also installed the RAM. So next we get to put back on the back panel and that's gonna be the last thing after we turn it on. So carefully place it back on and you should hear a bunch of clicks when you start clicking it in. The little plastic things will line itself up. And then once it's all clicked in, you can start putting the screws in. Make sure everything is clicked down though. Now you can start putting back in the screws and in time-lapse fashion, I will be done in very short notice. Actually just realized, I think it was flipped the, the other way around when I first did this. These are the front screws. So be sure to put the screws in the correct location or it won't, all the screws won't fit because there are two different types of screws. There is a much longer one right here and a much shorter one. You can't even see that, but just saying that. And there we go, guys. I just finished up and Here's the moment of truth, if it powers on. It powers on, and now we need to see if the RAM and the SSD is recognized. And I already showed you that the RAM is, but now let's see if the SSD actually is recognized. And there we go, my Kingston 480GB SSD is recognized. I don't know if you can see that, if you can, it says Kingston in the task manager. And that's pretty much it. For this video, a simple and easy way to upgrade your RAM and the SSD in your laptop. And all you need is a couple simple tools to do it. And if you want to use the same products that I use to upgrade my laptop, the links for them will be in the description. And with that being said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.